Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome back to Man vs. Film, and this is going to be a top 10 of movies that you can watch right now on Amazon Prime UK for the month of February 2019. Let's get started. Number 10, Moon. Astronaut Sam Bell has a quintessentially personal encounter towards the end of his three-year stint on the Moon, where he, working alongside his computer, Gertie, sends back to Earth parcels of a resource that has helped him diminish the planet's power problems. Duncan Jones' fantastic science fiction debut movie stars Sam Rockwell, a favourite actor of mine, in this really twisty, really interesting, low budget, but utterly fantastic science fiction movie. If for some reason you haven't heard of this, Sam Rockwell and Duncan Jones should be enough to attract you to this, let alone the fact that this is one of the best science fiction movies of recent years. Number 9, Tickled. Journalist David Farrier stumbles upon a mysterious tickling competition online. As he delves deeper, he comes up against fierce resistance, but that doesn't stop him getting to the bottom of this story stranger than fiction. Whew, Tickled is a fantastic documentary, and ultimately it is one that I really highly recommend. It starts off kind of funny with this novel idea of a tickling competition, but becomes something much deeper and much more sinister the more the journalist digs into it, discovering a character at the heart of this that seems to be using this to facilitate his kink, as well as other things. This is one of those ones that just gets weirder as it goes on, and you can't really believe what he's discovering, the lengths that this strange person will go to to make sure that this stays quiet. It's really fantastic, it's rather a little bit unsettling the way that this character goes about their business but it is highly entertaining and something that I hear nobody talking about and it's well worth just checking this thing out. Number 8. Phenomena. A young girl with an amazing ability to communicate with insects is transferred to an exclusive Swiss boarding school where her unusual capability might help her solve a string of murders. A movie that I didn't really appreciate on first watch and that's fine, sometimes you get movies like that. And you know, it's still something that hasn't settled fully with me. There's aspects of it that I love. Like the whole monkey side plot is just ridiculous, but in a really fun way that I just, it just tickles me every time I think of that. To the crazy score from Goblin that is really offsetting. Um, but this is another fantastic Jalo movie. You know, if you want to dip your toe into that kind of thing, this is an idea of how weird it can get with some really disgusting scenes near the end of this movie that may have you reaching for the sick back. Number 7. Free Fire Set in Boston in 1978, a meeting in a deserted warehouse between two gangs turns into a shootout and a game of survival. Ben Wheatley's Free Fire is one of those really fun, entertaining, punchy, short movies that I just laughed my ass off at because I thought it was so much fun. It is basically just a 90 minute shootout. You have these two gangs, you get a 10 minutes of you know, just chit chat as they go about before they fall out uh, and then it's just from then on a battle to the end with these people who seem to be inept at shooting um, and it's a, not a movie where everybody gets uh, away scot-free. People get shot a lot but it seems to be in the most innocuous of places making them have to crawl around this setup and still trying to fight the other people because they're both kind of bad guys of sorts. So much fun, so silly, so crazy, so uh, worth checking out. Number six, The Ritual. A group of college friends reunite for a trip to the forest but encounter a menacing presence in the woods that is stalking them. I am still kicking myself about missing out on The Ritual in the big screen. I had booked tickets a couple of times but and could never make it and I finally got to see it and I loved it. I thought it was a tremendous horror movie. Um, the trailer really sold it a little bit short. It's far better than that. There's a lot more creep factor scares. There is a fantastic nightmarish sequence in the middle of this that just gets under your skin and from then on it's all atmosphere, dread and horror all the way through this as well as a good portion of mystery as to what is happening. What is chasing after these guys? What is stalking them? Is it supernatural or is it something else? It's really worth checking out if you're into your horror movies and you have gave this one a miss because it looked generic, it is anything but. Number five, Suicide Squad. A secret government agency led by the ruthless high-ranking official Amanda Waller recruits some of the most dangerous incarcerated villains on the planet to execute dangerous black op missions and save the world from a potentially apocalyptic threat from a mysterious supernatural entity. If anything goes wrong in this mission, the government will not be liable, but rather the place the blame on the villains who are inherently evil people. 
Suicide Squad is not a great movie. That's fine, I can live with that, but there is lots of fun to be had here. I love the cast of characters, the weird and wacky designs, the fact that we're following villains who really have this compulsion to do the wrong and naughty thing all the way through the movie. There is some fantastic action set pieces, but there is down points in the movie as well. But that's fine, I can deal with that now. I've gotten by the fact that we have several introductions to each character and I don't really mind it. I just have a lot of fun with the action and with the characters themselves. Number four, Sightseers. Chris wants to show girlfriend Tina his world, but events soon conspire against the couple and their dream caravan holiday takes a very wrong turn. Another Ben Wheatley movie on here, and possibly my favourite, Sightseers, is truly tremendous. It is about two kind of repressed adults who find solace in each other on a short period of time. They start a relationship, they go on a holiday, and they murder a lot of people. And it's done with this wicked string of black humour all the way through the movie that it is increasingly just entertaining and fun. It is a movie where the characters are front and centre, their actions are ludicrous but fitting, and it's a tale that you really ought to check out. This is one of these ones that just kind of eases under the radar without people checking it out, and that is a crime. Number three, Moonlight. A young African-American gay man deals with his dysfunctional home life and comes of age in Miami during the War on Drugs era. The story of his struggle to find himself is told across three defining chapters in his life as he experiences the ecstasy, pain and beauty of falling in love while grappling with his own sexuality. Moonlight rightfully won the Oscar for the Best Picture because it is fascinating, an astounding piece of work, taking um, almost a bit like Boyhood but just splitting it up into three different actors, three periods of time, three moments that define this character that really put him on the path that he is going to go on and you get three absolutely terrific performances here where the, all three actors could and should have won the best Oscar, uh, best actor Oscar because it's truly remarkable performances. It is shot terrifically well, it is a, a kind of daunting tale with some aspects of the story. I think it looks great, the acting is fantastic, the story uh, will last with you long after the fact and it was well worth that Oscar and well worth checking out. Number two, your name. Mitsuya and Taki are complete strangers living separate lives until they suddenly switch places. Mitsuya wakes up in Taki's body and he in hers. The occurrence happens randomly and they must adjust with their lives around each other. Yet somehow it works. They build a connection by leaving notes for one another until they wish to finally meet, but something stronger than distance may keep them apart. Your Name is one of the most astounding animes I have ever seen. It starts off as a body swap comedy. Now there's no reason as to why this is happening, it happens almost instantly and you're thrown into the story. And for the first third of the movie, it's a kind of funny rom-com kind of feel about it. As they slowly come to get used to being in each other's body and get into the routine and do things that doesn't mess up the other person's life. In fact, they usually enrich it. But then there is this turning point, about a third, maybe halfway into the movie, where things take an immediate turn and you're hooked. This draws you in emotionally, you're tied into this story, you're hoping the best for these characters, you can't believe what's happening and you are totally engaged with everything that is happening on screen. This is a marvellous movie, really marvellous. I don't want to tell you too much about it, but it's highly recommended. Number one, Beast. In her tiny island community, 20-something mall quickly falls for a charming newcomer, Pascal. When he is named to be the top suspect in several murders around the town, she defends him to her family but becomes doubtful as she sees his true colours. The murder mystery in this movie takes second place to the sort of emotional state and relationship between the two lead characters. Now this is shot in Jersey and it really does show off the island fantastically well. It looks stunning but it's all about the characters here and you really start to dig away the layers of Maul as you discover she's a little bit damaged, a little bit more damaged than why she is the person that she is and how she works with the relationship around about her with her family and with this new love that she has discovered. It is a, a remarkably assured uh, directing debut and something that should not be missed. It's there, it's on Prime, I'm putting it my number one so that you go and actively seek this movie out because I think it deserves to get as many people watching it as possible. So there we have it, 
10 movies to watch on Amazon Prime UK for the month of February 2019. I hope you find something there that you're going to check out. If not, if you want to drop a recommendation for people to check other movies or for me to check out, just let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next month for another top 10. Thanks for watching.